Hi there, this is Omega Supreme uh, here with another Transformers toy review. Uh, this time I'm going to have a look at uh, Treadshot and his uh, little Minicon friend, which is Gunslinger. Uh, arrived the other day, um, actually, the, the next installment should be due fairly soon, which I think is Chrome Dome. Um, but this guy's pretty good. He's basically a repaint of Warpath, um, Treadshot, and um, is uh, I don't know if he appeared in the comic at all, but um, he was a, an action master, um, which was a, a set of Transformers figures. They didn't actually transform. Um, they were almost like uh, little G.I. Joe figures, basically. Um, and they came with um, a partner, which did transform. Um, and it, it was kind of in these sort of colours, actually. Um, and it, I don't know if it was a cat or not. I think it was like a panther that transformed that had like a flip mechanism which then transformed into a gun. Um, actually I prefer the, the flip mechanisms on the old Action Masters to these actual Minicons. Um, but this one's not too bad so it's got a little, uh, you probably can't see it that well, but uh, it's got a little Decepticon symbol there on the top there. That you can see in various ports where you can actually put other uh, kind of Minicons and things um, on him as well. So it's, it's not too bad. Um, I'll show you the transformation on, on, on that later. But um, as for the actual figure itself, uh, here he is. He's uh, basically black. You've got uh, bits of grey on here as well. Um, sorry, I've got these bits down here. Um, I've got. It does come with a missile as well, um, which I've got on here. But it does kind of stick out the end of here, so I, I don't sort of bother putting it in. Um, but yeah, it's um, pretty decent uh, details on it's nice. You've got a nice Decepticon symbol down here. Um, kind of nice brown detailing here with silver tracks here. Um, same on the other side, and you've got these kind of um, almost orangey bits showing through here, which is a bit like the Action Master figure itself. Um, you know, the other than that, I mean, obviously just different colours. It's exactly the same mould as, as Warpath. Uh, they haven't even changed the head mould on this particular figure, so it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, some of the the, um, the figures, they'll use the same mould, but then have a different head sculpt. But this one is literally exactly the same. And um, there isn't any place for the Minicon to go on this one. Uh, there isn't any plug-in points or anything like that. So these two figures are, are kind of separate in this mode. Whereas when they do, when he does transform into robot mode, this will transform into kind of a, a gun which he can then hold as well. Okay, so to transform him, uh, what I normally do is um, first get these bits here, and if I remember correctly, you want to ah uh, yeah, you'll unplug these bits. So you fold them out towards you like that, and pull these bits up. Like so, like that on either side. Fold these bits out again, like that. And as you then, what happens then, you can fold this bit out here and this bit out here. You can then pull his hands through like that. And then what you can do is just fold these bits then back up. Then uh, what I tend to do is just push this turret in which will then pop out the head and you can push that all the way in there and you can see from the from here the head sculpt is, that, is exactly the same uh, then you want to kind of lift this bit up here and it will untap from here unplug these bits here which are going to be his legs uh, you then want to pull these bits down so these are they kind of you pull them out here because they just kind of plug in here so you pull them out here and then pull them down like that and then you'll plug them in to each other like that and plug that in so again pull it out down and then back in like that and then you come around the front straighten out these legs like that so actually the, the joints in this one are really stiff actually uh, and then you want to fold this bit in from memory, like that, fold that in, like so. 
and then it's going to fold in and tab into there. So you've got it all straight and lined up. It should yeah, fold in like that. And there you go. There you've got him in uh, robot mode. Uh, he's really a uh, decent figure. You can see. Get a good look on him. Nice painted details on his face. You've got blue on there. Um, and this is more of a pinky orange. I don't know what colour we'd call that. You've got brown here. There's no waist articulation. His arm you can go all the way around. Cut out here. Bend here. As well as a swivel here as well. Um, the legs all the way up, down, so you really stiff you can hear it, and then swivel here, bend at the knee, and that's a bit you've got a bit of tilt there as well. Um, so then you've got a so yeah, pretty uh, impressive figure. He's got his little guy here, and all you do with him, um, you can see. Um, there isn't a lot to him. He's got a little Decepticon symbol on the top here. He's supposed to be like a little panther here. He has got a little, almost like a little, well, it looks like a little light on here. Um, and all you do is you fold these bits back like that. Fold these in like so. You're going to fold their head in and down like that. Um, and then you've got this kind of weird or gun thing like that. I think that's. I'm sure that's how it, uh, how it's supposed to go. Unless you have it like that. I suppose you could have it like that if you wanted to. That may be how it's supposed to show up like that. Yeah, that makes more sense like that. Although I can't remember for the life of me how it how it is actually displayed. So you can have it like that. Yeah, so, so I was saying uh, the other way you can do it is you can actually pull this bit down like that, sorry, pull that bit down and have it out like that. So it's more of a chainsaw gun sort of thing, uh, which I think is how it's supposed to be. I'm not, I can't remember now. Uh, and then you can have this plugged in there like that, uh, but if you do, it, comes out right out of the back so I don't really recommend that. The other thing I want to show you as well, it's not it doesn't come with him. Oh before I should do that I should show you his kind of tech spec card. So you've got some cool artwork on there. So tread shop with gunslinger. There's his uh, bio there you go. Um, I picked up uh, this little guy from uh, Toys R Us the other day and um, yeah he just comes in one of the little bags, little minicon bags. Um, it's quite a little cool little Megatron Transformers Prime one um, and he's got a little Decepticon symbol on here, legs move like that and you can transform him into little guns. So you just fold his legs in like that, plug them together like that. And so you could have him holding this as a as another weapon potentially. Although he doesn't actually fit in there. Um, but well he does, but he's not long enough. So you could actually have him holding this huge gun like that if you wanted to. Or the other thing I was going to show you is um, if you have him transformed, so just the only reason you can't hold him that well is because of the the difference between there and there. But you can have them in robot mode and what I notice is you can actually plug in other mini cons onto him. So you've got them like that, you've got little ports on here and one on there. And I did one where you had him as a little backpack. So like that. So you could have that on his back. Like that. Just thought, I just thought I'd tell you that. Well I hope you like it anyway. Um oh sorry about the lighting there. Um, this has been a tread shot with his uh, little pal Gunslinger and uh, hopefully should have some more reviews up soon for you. Cheers, bye!